Hey, what's going on, people? How you guys doing, man? This is the Red Dog Extreme. I am back with another video. Just to let you know that um, I'm back with another video, and I'm here to talk about. Well, if you want to hear the NBA lockout campaign, I'm trying to talk about. You can fast forward into a little bit, but this may, may not take as long. So, yeah, here we go. Um, here to talk about the Vengeance review quickly before I talk about this NBA lockout campaign. Um, here to talk about Vengeance. Vengeance was a great pay per view, and I'm sorry if I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been busy and stuff, so I know my last video was the Vengeance preview, but the Vengeance review pay per view was Vengeance pay per view was just awesome. Mid Mark Henry and Big Show really did tear it up. I thought that it was going to be a boring match to see Big Show never going to win the World Heavyweight Champion. I was glad it didn't end his qualification. It ended in a no contest with the Big Show and Mark Henry collapsing in the ring. And it turned out, you know, they weren't in the best shape. You know, you could easily tell that. So, um, quite frankly, um, after that, we had... Uh, it was so great, you know. It reminded me of Brock Lesnar and Big Show re-collapse. Um, that did happen. But Mark Henry, you know, was able to lift Big Show because he's the world's strongest kid. So, apparently that was just incredible. But, uh, yeah, after that, um, we still had a great match. And I thought it was incredible. Um, you know, next match we had was Alberto Dorito and John Cena. I saw the highlights of that match. Alberto Dorito did, did a good job in the match uh, as a heel. John Cena actually did very well. The brawl went backstage, and it was just incredible. Apparently, Alberto Dorito, um, you know, did a good job owning John Cena with the help from Miz and R-Truth. And for him to hit him with the belt, and for John Cena to lose, I was a little surprised to see that happen. After getting nailed by the belt, and uh, our truth and Miz nailing their finishing was the little Jimmy finale, which was just uh, the bomb.com. And I kind of like that name. It should have been the shut up finale, but little Jimmy finale is kind of better because it's a combine of the shut up and the skull crushing finale. So should have been the shut up finale. But anyway, after that, um, yeah, so that picked up the Miz and our truth to victory. Mm. Could be that pick helped Albert Dorito get a get the victory, and it was just a great match. I thought John Cena was going to win, but it turned out he did it, so he got only in his own strategy of the last man standing match. Um, after that, we had, um, I mean, before that, we had the Divas match, which was a really great match. It was just an incredible Divas match. I really tuned into it. I was going for Eve Torres to win this one, and that's what I have to say, basically. So, Eve Torres should have won that match, but luckily enough, Beth Phoenix did. It was still a great match I tuned into, so hopefully they keep putting these matches like this, Eve Torres is number one contender, that way I can keep tuning in. I don't care how many times they compete against each other, but Eve Torres does really deserve it. Um, after seeing her perform, she is improving, she's just really great in the ring, so nobody underrate Eve Torres. And I think she kind of is very underrated in the YWC, to be very honest, so that's what I have to say, and I'm going to talk more about that in my other video. So, um, yeah, after that, um, I'm here to talk about this NBA lockout campaign. The NBA lockout has been going on and on, and, um, it's now, it should be time for the NBA season. This NBA season should be going on right now. I'm not playing. They should have had the NBA season on, and we should have been watching basketball by now. I should have been playing NBA today. That's the thing I should have been tuning into, apparently, but we're not getting that. So, the reason for this NBA lockout campaign is because I want the NBA season to be back. Something entertaining to watch. I mean, bring the season back, I mean, by the time the NFL season ends. Like, after the NFL season is over, what are they going to watch? Especially people who don't really watch TV. Who don't, like, watch TV. They only watch sports, and then they focus on their job, school, and hanging out with friends and stuff like that. Or what are they going to read on the newspaper if they don't even watch basketball on TV? So, players, owners, commissioners, they all need to work out their differences, man. We want this NBA lockout to end, like officially. The NFL lockout, they just managed to work that out, and they were able to work together and they agree. They settled their differences. The NFL lockout was over way before the season even started. So, they were able to get back to trading camps and stuff like that. NBA didn't even have trading camps. They didn't even have um, preseason if that lockout was over, they would have been ready to play ball, ready to ball up, man. But we're not getting that. They're going to be rusty, and, man, it's going to be a sloppy season. I'm telling you. They're only going to have 50 games. Like, 
they got to end this lockout, man. This is why I'm doing this campaign, man, so we can have some basketball. I want to see basketball. I want to see some action, man. I want to see this go start going on, man. And for those who usually, I usually wear this hat, but now I'm wearing this as honor. This NBA lockout, man, hardwood classic. The NBA lockout needs to end once and for all. And the players need to work out the differences, man, because I want to see basketball back on the air. And apparently it's been going on long. Like, the players are too greedy. I don't even know about the owners. But the problem is, it's just this money issue's been going on. It's been going on and on. It's, this is ludicrous. Money, well, it's not ludicrous. But they think they earn more money than they thought. But it goes to the NBA based on how much fans they have. And this is like, fans want to see basketball. They should be, man, we got to serve the fans. This is why they're in the NBA. That's why we have NBA players. So the fans get, so the fans and people on TV can have something fun to watch. And the players really enjoy it too, serving the fans most of the part. Even though they can get tired, they can still enjoy serving the fans. So this is the purpose of this NBA lockout campaign, so we can end the lockout once and for all. That's what I'm calling this campaign, the end the NBA lockout campaign, so we can see basketball. And I know this may be up to the players and um, up to the coaches and commissioners to end the lockout. But I'm going at this, man. If they if they can listen to this and listen to the this whole M and the NBA lockout campaign, we can see some basketball sooner than later. Hopefully this doesn't get any worse, but hopefully this works out pretty well. So yeah, this is just my uh, quick thoughts. I mean, this is just my uh, quick um, statement that I'm making. I'm here to step up and make this statement so we can watch some basketball once and for all. Even for non-football fans who don't watch football, they just watch basketball. We want this NBA lockout to end. Hopefully we don't have a WNBA lockout. I don't know if anyone would care if there was a WNBA lockout. But we need this NBA lockout to end once and for all. This is why I'm starting this campaign. And I've been waiting to do this a long time. Even though I should have done this earlier.